ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഭരണത്തിന്റെ കീഴിലേ ദൈവാരാധന at the appointed time all such questions will be answered if you have patience before you make any covenant or friendship with anyone take holy spirit with you jalathalum aathmavinalum janikkunnillengil oru venum devarajyathil praveshikkuka sadhyamalla sisters on this day of good friday we commemorate the whole passion narrative and we were participating in the history of the passion and the sequence each sequence in detailed way we were going through and you know um, in the, if you read the gospels you can see the gospel writers they gave lots of importance for the passion death and resurrection more than anything else that is why i told you some time back gospel of john he dedicated 50 percentage of his gospel for the last one week the holy week and gospel of luke is 20 percentage gospel of mark is 44 percentage and then the gospel of matthew around 30 percentage 33 percentage so this is how they have set apart so because this passion death and resurrection of jesus is so important for christians especially for the for the early christians they gave so much importance because they found this is the basis this base the foundation not even for the the incarnation they have given no so much importance only gospel luke has given importance for the nativity of our lord jesus because that is also sh- sh- should be highlighted therefore they gave that passage that aspect nativity but all of them gave importance for the passion death and resurrection the crucifixion every one of them all the disciples and also saint peter and sorry saint paul and even saint peter and other uh, writers they gave importance for the crucifixion because they thought the death of jesus the moment jesus died they thought everything collapsed everything is failed and everything is defeated all their dreams are shattered it is the end of all the dreams for them so from that moment now there is a u turn in their life because they saw the meaning for this death when jesus was dying they didn't experience the meaning they found this is the tragedy this is a tragic event this is the end of everything they were so disappointed when jesus was dying but after some time after the resurrection when jesus came and preached to them 40 days Jesus came and spoke to them in fact it was a series of bible study they did with Jesus and that is when they start recognizing the secrets written hidden inside the bible they found from the genesis until the last book malachi all whatever that is written about Jesus Christ all the connection between all the new was revealed to them during that 40 days of Jesus resurrected life and he taught them and he even taught you know yesterday we were the other day we were reflecting about Emmaus disciples who were going to Emmaus these two disciples Jesus was explaining to them all what is written about him in the book of Moses and book of prophets in fact the last two years we were also giving you the same kind of teaching of old testament and new testament connection between these two and giving you the importance of the death of jesus my dear brothers and sisters that is exactly what jesus also did when he resurrected almost around 40 days he did the same things to the disciples after that after this teaching they came to know this death is not just as roman execution the death of jesus that happened on mount calvary is not just a roman execution but it was and it is a sacrifice it is a divine sacrifice 
a completion of the Passover meal, a true Passover of the new covenant. So that is why when Jesus was washing the feet of the disciples, and then he came back to the seat and said, Did you understand what I am doing today? They didn't understand anything. Then Jesus said, Don't worry, you will not understand it now, but later you will understand. So Jesus knew they won't understand anything. And they all will leave one by one. When he dies, everybody will leave. Jesus knew it beforehand. That is why he was not shocked. Jesus was not shocked after the resurrection when he came. He never shouted at anyone. Because he knew it already. These people are going to leave. And Jesus already said, the, the shepherd will be uh, beaten and all the sheep will be scattered. Jesus knew they will be losing faith. They will be going back. Everyone will abandon him, desert him. So Jesus knew it, everything. That is why Jesus said, you will not understand it now. You will understand it later. Everything will be revealed to them and then they will follow me and they will die for me. Jesus knew this beforehand. And that is why when he came back after the resurrection, Jesus never shouted at any one of them for abandoning him, but he was just consoling them, giving them authority, giving them positions, giving them roles and uh, duties. And he knew that these are part of their life. My dear brothers and sisters, there is no need of getting disturbed about anything. The Lord knows whatever that happens in our life, what is happening in our life and what is going to happen in our life. God is only waiting for us to come back to him. When he comes, when he calls, we need to respond. Come back to him. And then he is going to entrust you duties and responsibilities in the kingdom of God. He won't be accusing you, condemning you, rejecting you, judging you. And all the sins you committed. He is not shocked about it, but he knew it, that he is, you are going to do it. But he is waiting for you to come back. He is just waiting for you to come back so that he can accept you and give you duties in the kingdom of God. And this is what that was very that is what we need to reflect on this day, the Good Friday. And my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to request all of you, for the last two years, we were giving so many Bible studies about past and present, the Old Testament and New Testament. I don't want to repeat the same again here on this day. In fact, it would have been better if we could listen to that, all those talks from the beginning till the end on this day. But I would like to request all of you, please go through those teachings and teach your children and make everyone understand the connection between the Old Testament and New Testament, why Adam and Eve committed sin, and what is the consequence of the sin, how they were saved, and the connection between Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Esau, and all those things. We need to understand Moses and Joseph in the Old Testament, and all their connections to the New Testament. We need to understand because this is what happened on 2000 years ago uh, when jesus came back after the resurrection he taught the disciples the same thing praise the lord therefore my dear brothers and sisters on this day as we celebrate these good friday services let us beg for forgiveness from the and pardon from the lord and say lord it's not enough i that i go after healings and miracles and wonders but it is high time for me to learn the Bible and understand.